What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of The First 15, the series where I bring you guys the first 15 minutes of a fragrance, and I have a new one for you guys. Uh, it is the latest release from the House of Parfums de Marley. Uh, do you guys do know they made a uh, exclusive version of Layton a couple of years ago, and, and now they've released an exclusive version of Pegasus. I was at Nordstrom's last weekend, and uh, I was thinking about picking up a bottle, but they were doing samples, and I thought, you know what? I'll just pick up a sample and save myself the trouble of, uh, you know, having to unwrap and do all that stuff and go through the whole uh, video process of that one. Uh, besides, we all kind of know what uh, Parfums the Marley bottles look like. They all look exactly the same. They just have different color schemes. Um, the boxes are exactly the same um, for the men's line anyway. Some of the unisex as well, but the women's lines are pretty different. Anyway. Yeah, so Pegasus Exclusive is a men's woody sweet fragrance released in 2020. I don't know the nose behind this fragrance. It is an Eau de Parfum concentration. Like I mentioned before, I do not have the bottle. I will probably put a picture somewhere on screen here. Um, the, the notes in this fragrance in the top, we have bergamot, pink pepper, cardamom, and heliotrope. In the mid, we have... Uh, jasmine, lavender, bitter almond, and geranium. And the base round things off with vanilla, amber, sandalwood, uh, oud, and guyac wood. Uh, they do, uh, this fragrance does share a lot of notes from the original release. I believe it was released in 2011. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but it does share uh, bergamot, heliotrope, uh, lavender, bitter almond. Uh, it shares the jasmine, and it shares amber, vanilla, and sandalwood. Um, but yeah, so... Ready to give this fragrance um, a first impression. So I do actually like uh, the original Pegasus quite a bit, actually, uh, in the air. The sillage smells really, really nice. Nice and powdery and sweet. Um, that, that almond note's really nice in there. Um, I do have a, uh, fun fact, uh, I do have a um, really good clone. I think it's called, ooh, what's it called? Wild Stallion or something like that? Or Stallion from Al Haramain. And that's actually a decent clone. I know everyone talks about Arm Off Craze. Uh, from uh, our, oh, from Armoff, but uh, saying that how that's a really good clone. I actually did a video on that one a while back, but at the time that was the only uh, clone of um, Pegasus that was out. And uh, you know, for the price, I think I paid like thirty bucks for it. You know, you couldn't really beat that. The Royal Stallion um, is just a lot better quality, and it's actually a lot closer to Pegasus. So if you guys might want to get your hands on that one if you're looking looking for a cheaper alternative to. The original Pegasus, but again, I digress, guys. I tend to do that in these videos. Uh, it is the first 15, and I'm just kind of you know off the cuff here. Um, yeah, so let's give Pegasus Exclusive a first impressions. You know, don't really know what to expect from this one. I expect it to smell like the original, uh, but with the the added uh, oud. You know, I think they added oud in the Layton Exclusive, um, and they also added um, civ civet or civet. Or animalic notes uh, to latent exclusive, which is why I was turned off from it. I just don't like animal notes in my fragrances. Uh, they tend to just kind of ruin the fragrance for me um, in some of them anyway. But anyway, just glad they didn't do that with this one. Or really would have just kind of put a you know a really bad start to this, even just blind trying this one. Um, first impressions, guys. Here we go. A couple sprays. Hopefully, I have enough to maybe wear it some other time. But right now, we'll get this one a first impression. Okay. Definitely getting uh, the original DNA. Wow, this is way, way woodier though. Super strong wood notes. The cardamom in this is giving it a bit of that um, that nuttiness and that green sort of nuttiness that uh, cardamom brings to the table. But the guyac wood and the sandalwood are very strong. I'm not getting like a, like a traditional oud or a Middle Eastern oud. But I'm definitely getting a very strong wood note. Not sure if it is that oud or if it's the guyac wood or the sandalwood. Or maybe a combination of three. It's very peppery, very spicy. Oh, it does have pepper in it, excuse me. There's pink pepper. This smells more like um, black pepper in this. It's very, very spicy and woody. So right now, uh, it's just been like less than a minute here. I'm definitely getting like a more mature, butched up version of Pegasus. And I'm kind of liking this one. If you just imagine the original DNA of Pegasus with like some dark spicy notes. To me, it smells like black pepper. The only pepper in this is pink pepper. Um, and I usually get a fresh kind of zingy uh, type of smell with pink pepper. I'm really getting more of like a dark black pepper, a sort of a woody, spicy, cinnamon, tree bark kind of uh, spiciness and pepperiness. 
very dry and woody. So picture a dry, dark, woody wood, like a wood note with like almost peppery with the vanilla and the bitter almond. So yeah, I think this is definitely different enough to, I mean, just right now, again, just a first impression. I do think it's different enough to probably own both though. Man, this is like, the original Pegasus is like almost unisex compared to this one. I, I, I don't even know if Pegasus is unisex. For sure, this is for men. If, if Pegasus is unisex, then this is definitely gonna be for men only. I wanna say that I think that Pegasus is only for men, but um, you guys can quote me on, uh, don't quote me on that. But this was very, very masculine. Right now, I do think I like Pegasus, the original, more. Because this is very peppery, guys. Very, very spicy. Um, maybe to simplify it even more, just picture the original Pegasus with really dark, spicy notes. Very dry, woody, spicy notes. That's really all I'm getting out of this. Um, again, I know it's just the beginning here, and it's not really, you know, have much time to develop, but don't see it changing too much right now. It does seem like it has decent performance. I know it's it's just close, but I feel like that that sweet, dark, dry, um, dusty woods is gonna stick around quite a bit. I do think though that dry wood note might turn some noses off though. Um, if you guys liked the sweetness and maybe a little playfulness with Pegasus compared to this one, the original is playful, then you're not gonna like this one. Yeah, I'm starting to get, this is very mature. A very mature, butched up uh, version of the original. So again, if you guys don't like that, then you won't like this one. But if you guys like, you guys thought maybe Pegasus was too, um, I don't know, not juvenile, but just too sweet, maybe too playful, too unisex, uh, then you might want to try this one. The sweetness is starting to come out a little bit more. Um, at first it was kind of toned down, but I guess now that the wood notes are sort of uh, toning down a bit too, the, the sweet notes, that vanilla and amber are starting to um, sort of peak their way back to the top. It's getting a lot sweeter. Um, again, the wood notes are still there, just sort of, they're just blending well with the sweet notes, but the sweet notes are starting to kind of peak their heads out a little bit more. I'm not really getting much of the jasmine or the lavender. Maybe the lavender slightly, because I'm getting a slight sort of barbershop type of feel with this one, especially with those dry, spicy wood notes, but it's not a lot. Like, it's not like barbershop -y. It's just the lavender gives it a little of that feel. Yeah, but, you know, I like this fragrance. Oh, man, I'm at the wear them side by side. Again, not to sound like a broken record, but if you want a more mature version of... Uh, Pegasus, you're going to want to try this one. It is at Nordstrom, so you guys can easily get your hands on a sample from them. They are free. If not, just spray your hand with the bottle. This fragrance does come in two sizes. Uh, the 2.5 ounce is $290. The 4.2 ounce is $375. It's a lot of money. I would definitely say try before you buy. Um, if not, get the smaller bottle. But... Yeah, hasn't really changed too much, hasn't developed a lot since what I've um, told you guys at the beginning of the video or the beginning of the first impression. Really is just woody, dry, spicy, and sweet with vanilla. Not sure if this is gonna be a people pleaser. Right now, I could probably say it's probably for the older fellas, 30 and up probably, especially with that price tag, 30, 35 and up, but I'll say 35, 30 and up would be safe age range. Definitely fall, winter, night wear. Yeah, not a bad fragrance, guys. Not a decent first impression here. I don't hate it, um, but I do think I probably like Pegasus uh, more. And Pegasus even isn't even my favorite in the line, in the Parfums de Mario line. I do like it, but I don't love that one. Uh, there's others. I think Carlisle is probably my favorite overall. Uh, but that one's still no slouch. It is a really uh, good quality fragrance. Yeah, but if you like Pegasus, uh, you just want a more mature version, you might want to try Pegasus Exclusive. All right, guys, so now it's your turn. Has anyone out there tried Pegasus Exclusive from the House of Parfums de Marley? If you have, let me know your thoughts on this fragrance down in the comments below. All right, thank you guys so much for watching another video on my channel. If you like this video, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those notifications for future first impressions videos and very excited content just like this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, dollars and cents. There, you'll find fragrance related photos and future contest winners. And as always, until the next video, you guys take care. Thanks.